Communication. There are plenty of definitions for that. The one I like most is that it's the successful conveying of information. But sometimes I think communication is the root of all problems. Hi, how are you? Welcome back, or if it's the first time for you here, my name is Kai, and we are building this community where we learn, lead, and live together. Now, in this video, what I want to share with you is the six killers of good communication. Before we get to the six killers, one, one way of great communication, and that is clicking the like button. Because here you're communicating to YouTube that you enjoy the content, that it's valuable, and that it's worthwhile to share with many, many other people. First killer of good communication is being defensive. Now, it's naturally that when two people communicate, that at one stage or another, you will have a disagreement. Especially if you're the leader in an organization, there will be plenty of people disagreeing with you. Now, if you handle this defensively, if you want to make excuses for your viewpoint or try to convince the other person right away that you are right, well, they may not be as open to communicate openly with you in the future. And so it right away kills good communication. Instead, acknowledge first what you are hearing. Try to understand their viewpoint. And then by all means, also explain why you came to the opinion that you have. Number two is making assumptions. Have you worked with a person who is always finishing your sentences? Because they already know what you're gonna say because they know better. Now, have you thought about what message that communicates to you? It'll tell you that what you're saying isn't valuable. What you're saying isn't important because the other person has already made an assumption. And if suddenly you want to say something that actually doesn't end with what was just suggested or repeated by the other person, you don't know quite how to react to it. And again, Good communication is dead. So don't do that. Put your assumptions to a side for a moment. And when you do, you might find out something new. You might find out something that you learn and that is valuable for you. The next one, number three, is a little bit counterintuitive. Before we get there, let's keep up the good communication. Hit that like button because for the very low price of zero dollars, you communicate to YouTube and myself that you like the content and therefore we can produce a lot more in the future. What is this counterintuitive killer of good communication? It is providing solutions. Yes, you might think providing solutions is the basis for good communication. You are helping someone else out. But in reality, that's not truly the case unless somebody specifically asks you for a solution or your opinion. But otherwise, it's very similar to making assumptions because you are implying that you have a better solution than they could ever come up with. Because sometimes they don't want a solution, but simply a listening ear. And if you can provide that, it's a great basis for good communication. Because ultimately, if somebody wants to have a solution from you, they will ask. Another killer of good communication is being afraid. We all have somebody in our life who we really dread talking to because we either think there is no point because nothing's going to change or we fear a negative outcome or we fear that we become inferior in their eyes. Whatever it is, you start to be afraid. Afraid of what the outcome of that communication is. See, being afraid is a little bit like dating. You have to put yourself out there and have the risk of being heard in order to obtain the prize, which dating is the man or the woman. And in communication, it's the good communication of successfully conveying your information. The number five killer of good communication, being self-focused. So you either are just distracted by doing other things or you are just thinking about what you are going to say next. And if you do that, you are making, again, a lot of assumptions in your communication that you already know what's going to happen. And you stop listening truly. 
and you stop giving this communication the ability to be successful. And number six is being judgmental. And that can come in various forms. One is that you freely criticize other people. It's a little bit like providing solutions. Unless somebody has asked you for your opinion or for your feedback, making a criticism will rarely lead to any good communication. The other more hidden way to criticizing somebody is diagnosing them. So you say things like, oh, somebody's feeling very negative today, right? And so you are diagnosing what the other people must feel rather than asking them. And again, that can kill your communication quite quickly. So remember, six ways of killing good communication, but two ways to have really good communication. Number one is hitting that like button. Number two, hitting the subscribe button. And that means I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.